Hello and welcome back to FTB's guys. This is episode 44. Yes, we are doing a bit more beast this time around. And just as I ended up the uh, last episode, I noticed that there was a nomad bee that had infected. Well, infected. Yeah, I guess that's one of the word terms for it. It had invaded one of the um, uh, ashy miner. Uh, what's it, what are they called? The ashy miner, ashy mining bee one of their hives in this here. So I quickly captured it. I did go over to the incubation chamber and I did uh, breed it up. And we now have a fully grown Nomad Bee. So we do need the Mac Matek Bee. So let's see, which one up do we have here? We want a normal one that has some sort of a good stat. So let's see. Read it up here just to verify. So I just need one of each and then something here and then that should break. Yeah. Perfect. So you can be free here. You can also be free here for a moment and then you and you can read. It's probably going to be a breed cooldown. Then we have the small one. That was the blazing. How is the blazing one? That's also a breeding. So we need that one to breed with a. Leaf cutter, so let's jump over here. Let's see where I probably need to relocate this one at some point. I do need the treat again. So let's I'm impatient, so I'm gonna ask it to go fast. Let's see, we have the blazing one now, and if we take the blazing one together with the leaf cutter, we should get a coal. Yes, yes, and the coal one here we can then breed with the, the magmatic again, and then we have a sulfur one. And then we just need to do that all the times that we need in order to get all the bees we want. Let's jump over here and see. It's tossing stuff around the floor here. Stop. Oh, nice. A few dice cubes. That's not bad. Ooh. Reminds me, I should probably. Wow, that was a lot of things I got from that one. Let's see what we actually get here. We got. What did we get? The dice lands on a four and transforms into something else. Okay, I guess I got a bit of that. And I got a six here, so I got a other things that's the interesting thing here is that oh yeah right you can only get it once so the fruit uh that i've turned in like this one here i can never get that again that's slightly annoying that's actually that's actually quite annoying and not the most optimal in my opinion at least Design. Hmm. Oh well. Oh well. It's not that I'm gonna use it for anything either way. Let's go in here and see how are you doing? You have a breeding cooldown. Where did the other one go? There. You do also have a breeding cooldown. That doesn't really matter for me right now because I need the leaf cutter. I did put one in here, right? Yes, this has a weak endurance. Has a weak endurance as well. I think we have a few of them over here, but it's dark outside, so I'll probably need to make it daytime first. Let's take a look here. And amazingly sleeps. Why is there a bee in here? What type of bee is that? The normal one? No. Completely outside of its uh, zone where it's allowed to be. Would you pretty please go over here? Thank you. You there. You there. Go here and be. <laughs> it's the small funs and puns that you make with the bees, right? You go down there and be. Where 
Is my other B that was in here? Wasn't the two Bs in here? Are you or what? Sorry, is that a magmatic I'm seeing flying up around here? Why is the magmatic? How did the magmatic come in here? So, oh, right, is it the, the sign that I used up? Maybe it is. Uh, Just fill it in. So we can avoid the possibility of any escapees. And I do also need to continue building this building out a bit and interconnecting it with a few other things that I have in mind. Especially around how this over area over there is going to be. The placing one, we need the leaf. We need to see what the leaves here were. Are they all in a I wish there was something to uh, agitate or get them out of their hives. I, I don't mind there being bees everywhere. Pro chocolate mine, nope. So I don't have to be that I need. Okay, that means that I'm gonna go with whatever of, of these one here I deem the better. Journal, weak, normal, normal. Productivity high, let's take that one. So, for the building B here, we have a medium endurance and a high productivity, that's excellent. And if I remember correctly, just to confirm, it is the leaf cutter one that we wanna Read with the blazing one, right? Yes, it is. So, leaf cutter, blazing, perfect. Here and here. And now we have a small bee down there. What are you? Oh, come here, please. Okay, you are very, very, very fast. Could I? What did we get here? We did get a coal bean. Was that what we were looking for? It was what we were looking for. Excellent. Now we just need to do a bit of a cooldown here. Let's get them actually wait. So stay in there, please. So let's go incubate it. Ciao. So with the cold bee, we have two options here. We have the Cree bee and the cold bee that can become the neither one. The neither one we needed for some high to grow stuff. Not really the primary thing that we're doing, but it could be a temporary thing while we wait for a magmatic. Actually, we have multiple magmatics, so we might as well just grab one, another one. Magmatic. Let's see. Uh, I do actually like the one I have right here. Know if it's out of cooldown yet. Let it be in here for a while. See what happens, and then we come back uh, and find my. Not quite there yet. Can you please get there. Now have one that has medium endurance and high productivity. I'm not sure what uh, endurance means, but I do hope that it's something great and positive. Or I choose to believe that it is. So in order to not be completely surrounded by everything else. Capture these two. Because what is primarily important right now is that bee there and my coal bee. Yes, coal bee, you are now available for flying around. So let's see, you and you. I should create the sulfur one, right? Is that sulfur? That's sulfur. I can 
pet shoe. That would be excellent. There we go. So that's the first of uh, my army of sulfur bees. I do think that I need, I don't know, a, a lot of them. Uh, let's see. We can craft a few more. Yeah. Okay, I need to... To craft a ton of them. Let's see. Yeah, this here can be turned into purple. And it can then be dropped here, and then that's gonna be purple. Probably craft something here that actually this that this automatically becomes crafted with wood so much faster. Cool. Just put simulation chambers for all of them. Yeah, sometime in the future. So now I just need this to uh, cool down a bit. It's slightly annoying that there is no way of like. Thank you, just cool down and get on with it. Uh, there we go. Normal endurance, normal temper, dural, derno. Nocturnal, dernal, I think dernal is doing the day only. Weather tolerance none. Yeah, that's right. How is these over here? So they have high productivity. Uh, almost all of them. Ooh, what else do we have? Uh, that's some of them that could be better. Okay. So now we have a sulfur bee, and that sulfur bee we need to put into a hive. We want. How many hives do we want to set up? This is a normal hive. Oh, this is a bad thing. Okay, that's not helpful. Um, if I put if I set up three of them initially, um, and then I configure this one here like that, and make you craftable as well. some of the stuff that we need and we need two more of these simulation upgrades complete perfect and then let's go up here so we want you to actually thinking of just placing them like here oh all right i need to place them one up for now where's the honey pot the honey pot goes in here the beehives goes here the beehive is and the box goes on top we need the simulation upgrade in each of them and we want sulfur bees in it perfect let me just uh, sulfur bee sulfur bee sulfur bee we find you here need a coal block or a block of sulfur mm -hmm. so if I disable you for a moment uh, because I do want a few sulfurs here I wonder how long it takes before they craft while I wait on that one there I do need the feeding slabs uh, Feeding slabs, that one. Okay. I need to get some more of this. Like that. Okay. One, two, three. Feeding slabs here. It's going to take a while to get that done. Maybe I can quickly check on this down here. So 
Colby is fine. Where did my magmatic bee go? Did my magmatic bee escape me again? Um, so magmatic bee escaped into a hive in a different cell. Like, I'm, I don't know how it did it, but apparently it's a breakout king. you again and then continue that until I have uh, three completely filled hives for now. I might be going for additional ones in the future but for beginning I'm gonna start with three hives filled up with it. So let's see where did my... There you went. The breakout king. <laughs> it's an amazing small breakout king apparently. Where did my dandelion go? Right here? You and you. Great. And then we got another one. And then I'm just going to rinse and repeat this. So I'll be back once I have everything filled up. Okay, and I'm back. So... I did a bit of breeding here. I only have five of them so far, but that's a good start of it. They are all high productivity, which I like. Mm -hmm. um, I did upgrade uh, speed into uh, all of them. Additionally, I have added uh, speed upgrades in here. So there's uh, upgrades. And then I've configured this one, uh, the laser node below this one here to extract from the hive, uh, put the... Mm -hmm. Open it up so that you can see. The, is this one here, yeah. So put the sulfur comb into this one here, and only the sulfur sulfur comb. Um, everything else goes into a functional storage setup here. I do have one thing I still need to configure that I haven't gotten around to yet. Is setting up glass bottling here so that somehow this gets empty it out and reinsert it so that this capes uh, the honey out of all the systems. Additionally, down below here, I have set up a fluid drawer uh, that takes in the uh, honey that is produced from up there as well so that it never uh, overflows on that. I probably actually should prop in a, an upgrade or two here. Can I do that like that? 8.2 million uh, honey, that should never fill up. Um, but yeah, basically just set up the uh, storage controller down here, place the stuff upstairs. Oh, that actually reminds me, I should put in the linking tool here. You can see I have one up here, I have those here. All of it connected up to this one here. Placing the tool here so that I know which controller it belongs to. And yeah, basically that's the B production. Additionally, in between episodes, I don't think I mentioned this. If I did, I'll probably cut this. But I set up a gunpowder to sulfur production here with hydrochloride. The hydrochloride comes from chloride, uh, hydrogen, and um, the chloride comes from the uh, brine that gets generated here. Uh, I didn't have sodium as a byproduct. And each of uh, all the brine here comes from these uh, massive machines, uh, thermal evaporation towers, that constantly is running and uh, doing that. It additionally also creates the liquid lithium here, but I think that was uh, a blunder from my side because, yeah, I'm technically already producing that over here. And I already have set up the thing here, and it's coming along quite well with the fill rate here. So I'm currently at 409 uh, giga. I think it's a giga. I don't know. Still need to figure out what, which of them it is. And yeah, pol polonium is still not super high and my fission fuel is only at 700, 800,000 now. Um, 
but yeah, production wise, it's okay, but it's not amazing. Um, I really want to expand with a ton more of the bees so that I get proper, um, got to get it probably running. But yeah, so that's uh, what I just did in between episodes. Um, next up, I want to start setting up at least or try to build up the um, antimatter chamber. So I need to get into the SPS uh, stuff here. If I have calculated correctly, I do need quite a, a ton of all of the things. Uh, it's not terribly difficult to get. I did craft some of it up uh, previously. Um, I can probably craft a, quite a few more of them. But yeah, what is that? Is there actually a quest for it? Did I overlook that? Oh yeah, there is, there is. I completely overlooked it. Yeah, um, I have a bit of a uh, work ahead of me crafting and figuring out how to craft these things here. I do think, didn't I craft like a lot of these at some point? Obsidian liquid extender. Thing. Didn't I set up a production of that somewhere? Like right here? Yes, I just need to take the substrate. Substrate. I need just drop it here I get yes perfect so I'll figure out how many I actually need for them and then I'll be back and now I think we're ready to actually set up the SPS thing there's one thing I want to show before jumping into it so I did a small setup over here it's basically just redoing things that I already done before set up eight uh, sifters um Seems like I need to actually upgrade one of these. But yeah, all of them are <laughs> processing dust in order to get all the sulfur in the world. Um, this was the most efficient and highest speed route that I could find. And all of them here should be... Yep. All of them has a major build-up, so that's good, and there's no upgrade in the world. But it is blasting through and uh, creating all of those precious sulfur pieces that uh, is sorely needed and as you can see here it's slowly increasing um, which is pretty good which is pretty good so building up the SPS or the super critical phase shifter or something like that if I understood this correctly here, I'm going to see where do I want to build it. I, actually, I think I want to build it here. And I can build the, the other major thing over there if I want to. We start from the back side. Uh, we start with three out. Let me see if I remember correctly. Three. I don't remember if it's like that or the other way around. Isn't there? Yeah, I can ponder on this one here. There's definitely a tree out there. And then, okay, so it is like, like that. So something in those lines here. So perfect. And yeah, definitely going to use the reactor glass as the fillers here. Um, do I want an input at the bottom here? I want to take the uh, polonium. Oh, this is so loud. So loud. Oh, no, actually, keep running because I want the power. I want the stuff that it generates. So, here we have the first layer. For each side, we need to have a similar setup.
So we have the basic structure of it ready um, to be able to actually process this here. We first of all need to have a point at the top of it. So let's grab one of our points. some pressurized tubes as well so power input up here i am for now just gonna i'm actually just gonna jump on the same one here then i'm gonna limit it with saying that it can a maximum pull two million We're allowed to pull two million. Perfect. And this is the input port, right? Let's see. Input, yep. So here we want the pressurized tube to extend out, go down, come up from the floor. So this one here comes down from here. This is so damn loud. Not want to go down and connect that one because that means that I need to clean it all out again. Let's get away from that noise a bit. Sounded like some machine kicked off there. Sounds like it's running now. And yet another super loud machine without any way of muting it. Uh, slightly annoying. So we now have three buckets of, or three micro buckets, mini buckets, whatever. Uh, Ventimeter, four. And now we just slowly need to get up to. Is it 5,000 we need? Yes, I think so. And that's gonna take a while. Let's see. We have a pull of 2 million here, we have an input of 5 million. This one over here runs. How is the fueling situation looking? Are we are getting close to emptying the fueling department even though this year has been completely turned around oh yeah one thing i remember uh that, that i figured out when i was checking this year you really want to put in the gas upgrades here i had not put that in initially and yes it does not work that well but now that i have it there um my biggest uh, blockage of actually delivering stuff to this fast enough is my chemical oxidizer i might want to pull both of these machine one out here and then create a tubing system over for it instead uh, just because or maybe two out um, just because this could be so much faster if uh, it got a bit more of the can you remember what it's called the what is it called uranium oxide Get, got more of that one, it will actually be more balanced in uh, production. I might look at that in a short while. But yeah, with all of these small upgrades here, this is actually starting to come together as a pretty good build up here. Still too damn loud. Does that look 15? It's not terrible, but it could be so much faster. What if we set this one here to 4 million? That is a significant faster pace. Still very, very slow though. Faster, but slow. Can I do something here? No. Nope. I want this, this to be priority minus a thousand. Not 
want this to be primary. So, once I have the roughly 5,000 a need of antimatter, I should be able to actually wrap up the last one. Now it's just a waiting game. Let's, before we end up this episode, because I think we are coming up at time with this episode, let's go over here and take a look at the... Um, we do actually have all the star, all the singularities that we need for it. Let me remove these here so that I don't overflow. Can I carry them all? It looks like I just, just exactly can. And it is a turn in, right? Yes, it is. Submit. Perfect. Excellent. That is, uh, that was nice. And now I can remove my awkward addition down here. Remove the, uh, secondary matter storage. And just continue, let me actually just clean this up here. This is the mahogany. Mahogany polished thingies. There we go. I don't actually need this one here anymore either. So that one can go away. The singularity is there. That should be more than enough for the foreseeable future. I don't think I need more singularities though. So excellent. So all there's left there is, at least for this quest line here, is to do the antimatter. But now the question comes: Should I actually complete all the other ones here as well, just to completely uh, wrap up everything? I think that could be a bit fun, because but most of them is basically create a hole like. Everybody can create a hole or carry one. It's like, yeah, N not really a challenge, <laughs> but a small cleanup of quests is always uh, quick and dirty. Dog food. Might as well throw it in the backpack. But yeah. Um, I think that's it for this time around. If you like what you saw today, uh, then toss me a like. If you want to see more of what I'm doing, then please do subscribe. Uh, I still have a lot of cleanup to do here around the base and uh, add like a small bits and bobs here and there. I still need to figure out what I'm actually going to do with this vanity area over here. Um, and yeah, there there is still plenty of things to prettify if I want to do that. Um, and I'm still considering should I or should I not uh, release this map once I'm done with it. Um, because, yeah, you can be inspired by it. You can go in and actually look into details in what I did around it. And you should be very welcome. Um, but yeah, if you do want to see more of it, do, do remember to toss that subscription uh, after me. And if nothing else, then have a wonderful day and see you out there.